types just to hone in on each one, but they're all fairly similar. Okay. So on page 48, if you're there, I'm just going to ask you to write down nice and big. Regressions. I don't want you to miss that when you're reviewing. It's actually normal, like I used to just jump right into the word problems, but I'm going to give you a little bit of a, this is how you should approach them kind of scenario. Okay. What is, what is performing a regression? We generate the equation. that best models the data, or you can call it points, okay? You will you come up with an equation that best models the situation. So when we collect get data, we, we're trying to say, hey, this looks kind of looks like a parabola. What equation can we come up with to model it as best as possible to try to get as close as possible here are the steps first step i would say turn on plot one okay this allows you to see the points on your screen. And enables you to use what I will refer to as a zoom stat, okay? Uh, second step would be <clears throat> enter x values into L1, y values into L2. And to do so, we press stat so whenever you see square brackets it's either a button or it's um, a setting you're accessing on your calculator stat and then you want to select edit if you can make a, a, a very compact version of this on your study sheet that would be very very important uh, for you to do so okay um, and you will say to clear, just a little note, to clear values, go to top of row, press clear, enter. That's how you will clear whatever is at the, whatever is already in there. Sometimes you want to get rid of it. This is how you do it. Just a little note there. And last step. Perform quadratic regression. And this is how you do it. 
you press stat it stands for statistics right this kind of is related to statistics doing something like this um, stats or stat and then you want to select the calculate function and then you want to select select quad reg which stands for quadratic regression technically this would do it this is all that you need but i will go one step further here because it makes it a lot easier because it will paste it into your y1 so we also go then we go um, second one okay we press the comma button second this will become very quick after we do a couple okay so it seems like what that's too many buttons i agree but you'll be it'll become second nature okay comma alpha and then y1 you should see this on your screen after doing that quad reg l1 comma l2 comma y1 okay this is what you ultimately want on your calculator Um, just so you know, second one, this, if you, you, it depends on how you want your notes to look like, right? But that calls L1. If you go comma, right? That's the comma right there. Second two calls L2. And then the alpha Y1 calls Y1. Okay. So you're basically, you're going to press these buttons to say, hey, quadratic regression this is what you're saying quadratic regression get your x values from l1 it's like an excel spreadsheet by the way get your y values from l2 and then put it into y1 like put that equation that you're going to come up with paste it into y1 that those are the commands right it's almost like a little program that you're running so we'll practice that right now okay how to do this so come with me to 49. <clears throat> I'm, I'm still going to do this again. Regressions. Because sometimes students seem to forget. What are regressions again? You know what? To put it simply, you come up with the equation. Like that's basically what you're doing. You're not given the equation. You have to come up with it. Okay. Grab your calculators. I'm going to read this and then answer. An airplane performs a stunt at an air show. It consists of a sudden drop. So he's flying and all of a sudden, sudden drop, followed by a rapid increase in height. The stunt ends when the plane reaches its initial altitude okay. so this is that when, whenever you see something like that stunt ends this is gonna be critical to uh, to your domain and range right like as it ends it actually tells you like it stops here we no longer consider our model once it stops but when and, and it consists of a sudden drop yeah, that's also that's kind of telling you that's where it starts and this is where it ends okay the table below shows the heights at different times so you've got time and you've got height every single one goes together it's a pair so coordinates right we will never you will never have to guess 
the first the first ones are always always go into L1 and is what we call our x variables or x values and the second row you'll never have to guess that will go into your L2 which is your y variable yeah. so therefore I don't know I find this helpful you know that all x values represent time and all y values represent the height in this case okay so let's go ahead and it says determine the equation that models the height of the plane over time so we need to come up with an equation uh, we're gonna go to our main screen so if you're on your graph right now go second quit right second mode always quits to the main screen I'm gonna clear everything that's there we're gonna perform our regression which is you have to press stat a lot when you do regression so stat we're gonna go to edit so hit enter and you should have L1 L2 L3 pick close attention that all of those L1s are, or that you have L1 2 3 4 if you have one missing then you need to do the following okay let's make let's all make this mistake we're gonna go to the top of L2 and instead of hitting clear you're gonna press delete L2 is gone right some of you are gonna do that every once in a while by mistake when that happens you got to go back to stat and you're gonna go set up editor you're gonna perform that fifth operation there just hit enter a couple like enter and then enter one more time when it says done it will put the whatever you deleted it'll put it back in its place so if you go stat again let's go stat everybody press stat edit l2 should be back in fact anything that was deleted there if you were missing one of those l's it's gonna be back now so let's do this again go to the top of l2 press clear press clear and then enter get rid of whatever is there because sometimes you have like 10 points in there okay so you want to go clear enter go to the top of l1 hit clear enter so now everything is gone okay now I want you to type in 26815 into L1. So 2, enter, 6, enter, 8, enter, 15, enter. You press enter every time. It's like an Excel spreadsheet. Now we're going to go to L2 and enter the heights. So 750, 315, 210, 433.13. Okay, make sure you double check that you entered it right. You're not missing a decimal. You're not ad adding an extra zero. Make sure, take the extra seconds because it's very frustrating if I'm checking every single point right now. And I did check and it's good, okay? Because sometimes it, it's just completely different if you miss something. Now, if you hit graph right now, nothing is gonna, like you're just gonna see your previous graph. But watch what happens when we go, let's go to y equals. We're gonna clear everything we have in our y's. We don't want anything in there. You're gonna go to plot one. This is where you want it on when you're performing a regression. So turn it on, you go to it, you press enter, and it should be highlighted, okay? Hit graph again. I'm sure you're not going to see anything just yet. You're not seeing anything, right? Okay. This is the cool part. Zoom, stat. Okay. We're going to go zoom. What is zoom stat? Like the ninth option right here. Statistical zoom. And hit enter. And it's going to zoom into the points you've just entered. Okay. The cool thing about this is that you will see the, all the points you've entered. So that's the cool part. If zoom, if plot one is not turned on, it's not going to do anything for you. Okay. So you got to remember that plot one has to be turned on. Okay. So does that kind of look like a parabola perhaps? I think we could all picture it, right? And it's an airplane. So it's going to drop and then 
come back up. So let's model it. Let's actually come up with a, a curve that can model everything in between as well. Okay. So that's where the, the second part comes in, this one. Right? We've, we've turned on plot one. We've entered the values into L1 and L2. Now we're going to perform the regression. We're going to actually go through these steps here. How about I leave this on my screen while we do this together? Because we have everything we need from the previous page. So we're going to follow this. We're going to press stat. And then we're going to go to calculate at the top here. See, you're going to go sideways to calculate. Then you're going to go to quadratic regression. So you got to go down to the fifth option and hit enter. Okay. Now we're going to go second one. Okay. Second one comma. There's a comma button. It's just above the seven. Then you're going to go second, number two. Then you're going to go comma. And this is a shortcut. You're going to go alpha Y. Alpha is the green button right here. So alpha. Oh, uh, Sorry, I gave you the, to get Y, you got to press alpha trace. If you press alpha and then trace, there's Y1 right there. So I'm going to make an adjustment to your notes just now. You hit enter. This is what you should see. Okay. This is what you should see. And then if you perform the regression now, you hit enter. It came up with the equation that models these points. So you're like, well, what's going on? Well, it says, hey, if you're talking general form, if your A value is this, your B value is that, your C value is that, then just plug them in here and, and you've got your equation. Problems? Yeah, I'll come and see you. One more, one last thing, hit graph now. You see that? Go to Y equals. It plugged the equation into y, y1. Okay. Um, so let me just go and see who needs help on the video in case. All right. So you want to make sure you go mo uh, mode, right? I said mode, and then make sure stat diagnostic is off and stat wizard is off. And then we're going to do it one more time together. Okay. I'll do it one more time with you. Once that is off, you go second mode to quit. So here we go one more time. Stat, calculate. We're going to go to quad reg. Are you all seeing this right now? OK. Thank you for your patience. Now we're going to go second one to call L2, uh, sorry, L1. Then we're going to press comma, press comma, second two to call l2 then we're going to go comma and this is the one i need to add, adjust in your notes you're going to go alpha trace alpha trace to call y1 okay so this is what you should see now you hit enter one more time to actually perform this regression If your equation isn't exactly like this, you got to go back to L1 and L2. I will tell you this. Some, like Sometimes on an AC, you're like, I'm not getting the right equation. Okay, so I'll be like, well, check your points. How would you check them? Stat, edit, and you go in here and you check every point to make sure you entered it correctly. If you didn't, you got to make a change here and you got to rerun the regression. Oof, time is flying. You got to rerun the regression. How do you rerun it? Watch this, guys. I'm just going to go up because I've already done it. I'm going to hit enter, copy, paste that thing, and then run it one more time with the new points, and then these numbers will all be adjusted. Okay. Hit graph. There it is. Um, I don't like this window right now, to be honest, but it helps me out. It gets me started. So we're going to go to our page 49 here again. 
we're going to first and foremost answer that question. For A, we're going to say this is all I need you to write for stat quad reg. That's all I need you to write, comma, quad reg. Um, that's actually it. And then you're just going to go y is equal to, you read your equation to me. Not from here, but from your main screen. And some of you are like, oh, my main screen is gone, Mr. Dirksen, because you made me graph it. No worries. You go back to quadrat, copy, paste, run it again. And then you're going to go 9.38x squared minus 183.75x plus 1080. That's actually exactly 1080. That's it. So this would be your equation. Everything that follows will be based on this, okay? So let's answer some of these because we know how to do the rest. Once we have an equation, it's the same as before, guys, okay? What is the initial height of the plane at the start of the stunt? And we know it's this, right? At time zero, it's this. Uh, Y-intercept is zero, 1,080. Initial height is 1,080 feet. We know it's in feet because we were told that that's the case. C. How long did the stunt last? Well, I, I'm told that it ends when it's at the same height as it started, correct? Stunt ends when plane reaches 1,080 feet again, okay? Exclamation mark. So we're gonna go Y2 is equal to 1,080, second trace five to make that happen. So let y2 equal is uh, 1,080. Notice that this one is pointing up, right? <clears throat> and then hit graph. And what is the problem here? My window, probably, right? So let's adjust together a window before we go. Window, x men, guys, it should be negative something. You should be a little bit a little bit to the left of the y-axis. So we're gonna go negative 10 or something like that. X max, I'm gonna increase that. I don't know, I'm thinking 30 for now. I might change that. Y min, I wanna be just below the x-axis. So I go negative 10, negative five, whatever you want. Y max, what should my y max be? 1,080 is where I'm graphing my line, correct? I want it to be a bit more. Hold on. There it is. Um, this is what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to ask you to try page, like finish 49 and 50. And to be honest, other than the regression, everything else is about the same. Still a word problem, okay? So I want you to practice regression. No, I will not have an EC just yet. Maybe I will just have a short one where I ask you to give you points as I just come up with the equation. So that means that your study sheet needs to have the info on how to, what to press to get that, okay? Thank you guys. I will see you tomorrow.